But you think they would have the same mindset as, like, as you have right now about giving the word too much power? Then why, why they feel that way then? Well, you feel a certain way. I feel like the people that came before us, like, we as black people, we can say, well, I don't like to say nigga because they don't know what my people struggled through. Well, we didn't struggle through it. So yeah. really, we can't say, yeah. well, I struggled my because we didn't. Either. We didn't pick no cotton. I don't yeah. know nobody in this pick no <laughs> cotton. <laughs> it was nobody's house laid. So I feel like they witnessed it and they were there and right. it was used to right. put them down on the day. And that it brings back like those same feelings. Yeah. yeah. That's that's why they take so much offense to it. That's not even like giving the power. That goes back to those people yelling at them, hosing them down, sick dogs on them. That word was was being sprouted at them while wow, that happened. Okay. So that's where the anger comes from. Right? But but you think you think they went through all that so that same <coughs> word can still be used? To, to 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 oppress us? No, wait. The, the we word the word us to use it. Like we right. shouldn't be using it either. No, my, thing, if, my thing is, if you get offended when a white person says nigger, you should get offended when a black person says. Nigger. But but in defense of the word, for the devil's advocate, there's a document where one of the greatest African Americans of all time, Martin Luther King, referred to his friends as his nigger. So. And he, still, and he still didn't want no white man to come right. after him, right? Right. <laughs> right. So, so what I'm saying, like, like we, we, we didn't create that nigger word as, as slang. We didn't start that. In the 90s didn't start that. In the 80s didn't start that. They had to do it in, in the 40s and the 50s. These are my niggas. Mm -hmm. That's been there. Like, we didn't, we, we are, we didn't we are the ones who made it cool. Or hit word has always been there. Right. Their, their language, our language. And we still, even in the 40s, the 30s, the 20s, when we were still getting hoes and had to enter in on the back, on the, on the brick roads and couldn't drink out the same water fountains, mm -hmm. they didn't like a white person saying that. I don't like a white person saying that. And I, and I can't, there's nothing that can make me comfortable with that. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why do you not like that word? Why do I not like the word? Yeah. Because I, I honestly feel a person's intentions of saying that, a, a Caucasian person's intentions. I got an Indian friend. And this might sound as ignorant as it, as it could be in the world. He's Indian. I mean, he was born here and everything, but he could say the word nigga, and that would not faze me at all. I don't, like that, word. I don't like that word because of the history behind it. Yeah. And I feel like it also depends on like how you use it because like the definition of it is ignorant. So that's what that means. Be black ignorant. I think that's why. 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 I do not, just in, in my personal opinion, and I'm from Boston, I'm from the whitest like, area in the world, and maybe that's why I feel like that, because I know it's not them saying it because they're cool enough and been around that many black people. It ain't that many of us up there. If one of them said it, I know for a fact there's some type of, <laughs> yo, I call him my nigger at the end of it. Like, I feel like they're, like they're getting off on it. Like, they get a little, get a little, a little, a little you know, but you never, but like, so you never know how cool. they feel about it. Like, His experience with white people, with saying the word, has never been because he was cool with them. It's always been in a bad experience, which mine yeah. has too. My experience, if somebody, if a white person has ever called me a nigger, it wasn't like, oh, she my nigger, it's been, yeah. she's a nigger, I don't like her, da da da. Right. That's why I take offense when a white person like, says because that's the connotation. So did somebody, did a white person call you a nigger and yes, it I, meant that you didn't? I've been, been like called that. a nigger, yes. Yeah. I've been called a nigger in high school, middle school, like, I've been called a nigger. Like y'all say, South Carolina is in the South in general. The Bible Belt is like the suppressed states where the blacks still stick to the blacks and whites still stick to the blacks. Go up, go to Boston. Go to go to those whiter areas, the predominantly white areas. There's no mixture. I don't have a good like experience with Caucasians, you know, at all. So I, for me personally, and then your perception is your reality. My perception of a white person calling me a nigga has never been in. Just genuine, what you call it? Power of endearment. Like, oh, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if it's just the, the whole Southern hospitality shit? Sure. So their intentions might be the same, but just the way they show it. In Boston, they might be more showy, but a white person here will help you out and be part of the KKK or be a police officer. No, I, 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 I don't understand that. I, I'm talking about people. These people do not, mullies, that's what we are. They do not cross that line. There, there is no, there is no just, hey, we're all cool, and it's almost still like segregated schools and everything. Like it's, there's, there's the Irish, there's the white, there's the Puerto Ricans and the blacks, and the Dominicans all over here in the pocket. We live in Southie. 
They live in Dorchester, Rochester. Like there's, it's not as mixed here. You can have um, rich white, broke black. You know, I mean, like either way, it doesn't matter. There's rich black people here. There's rich white people. It's real. Everybody's cool and can. So if a white person oh, say nigga, they racist. racist. Oh. Is that racist? Are, are they racist? I'm not saying they're I'm not, racist, I'm not but say they're racist. That, I'm gonna say that, that word comes out their mouth. Alright, so if like you say cracker, cracker, are you racist? Yeah. 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 Why? Because I ain't supposed to be calling them crackers. Why not? Because I know what I mean. If I call them cracker, I know what I mean. Yeah. I see that. So you know that's just you saying. Okay. So so what do you so what do you mean when you call a white person cracker? What if I said nigga? What, what, what do you mean when you call a honk? Answer that for me. When you call a white person okay, crack, what do you mean by a honk? What do you mean by it's not real? So you, if I say, hey, that's what I mean. That's like, you mean by a honk? I don't know him. So you're right. Like, that's just like that. But like, that's just like that. 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 Everyone, 
Yeah. Like if 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 I tell you that it's this and you go out and do it, it's not like oh I told you so. A lot of people live for I told you so and hey I was right. Mm -hmm. Hey, some people have to make that mistake on their own. But at the same time, though, if you call me a nigga, I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you know. Yeah. Look, don't do that. I can't promise you what. But yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But to me, just said, yeah, but he sounded like, no, hey, no, no, don't black people don't want you to call them. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying don't say it around me. Okay. Yeah. What, if, what if it was a black girl who wrote crack on the board? You think we would know about no, it? No, we wouldn't. It would, it would, it would it know. Wouldn't so be what, what, what role do you think the media plays in this? So the role the media will boost it up. That's a hot topic right now. You, th you think it's a reason for it? Because everything that's going it, on. It, it just kind of plays in the world. Probably to, to take our attention off something that's mm -hmm. more important. I'm yeah. telling you, it's stuff yeah. that's going on that's way more important than that girl writing nigger and us writing cracker. Yeah. And then um, it's, we don't know, but they're taking your eyes off of it. Yeah. I, 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 it did, I, I, I honestly is. feel they do that. They will pull up a, a fluff. Yeah. yeah. Throw a smoke screen. He to was in there for like, like what, two yeah. weeks? Maybe. Yeah, but they had to distract us for yeah, something, for something that was really yeah. happening. That was yeah. really happening. Like, and everybody yeah. scared to cough around each other yeah. for and two I, seconds, and then, oh, Ebola's just gone. Yeah, and I think and right I think now these, these small racial, racist things that are happening are trying to distract us from the big things because now you don't see anybody still marching for Mike Brown. You don't see any protests and stuff still going. It's almost like yeah, it's, it's not. Temporary. Yeah, it's, it's a temporary thing. But the thing, no, just because it's not being portrayed does not mean it's still happening. There are still marches right now for Mike Brown. There are still marches in Atlanta. And, 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 well, okay, well, marches. that those little things are taking the the place of the big things that are coming taking the mass yeah. from it. Yeah, they're taking like the, the the mass. We were all focused on you know the Ferguson situation and all of that. So when they threw that smoke screen up, mm -hmm. the, there's still some loyal people down there in Ferguson who's probably still standing on the corner right now. Mm -hmm. But the mass, they, they distracted the rest I of us. I don't necessarily you know? see it as a smoke screen. I see it as like, this is another incident that just happened that's related to this one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's still Are you talking about the shooting? This shooting? I'm talking the shooting. I'm talking about the nigger. I'm talking about the SAE. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still all related. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same situation, but it's still related. It's still so, race. Exactly. Yeah. It's right. Yeah, so it's like they didn't take the attention off of this. They're just like, yeah, this is happening. It's similar. Let's move to this now. It's not. It didn't take their attention off anything. It just said, this is the same thing that's happening over here. I'm about to say some off the wall shit, and y'all feel free to disagree. But I've always felt that a white person who is not racist. Not, not, let me not say not racist, not prejudiced against black people. That's an extraordinary white person. Because if you want to look at subliminal messages, if you want to look at even obvious messages, everything around, uh, around us, from the news to, to media to everything else, tells us that black people are bad. So for a white person to look beyond that, Mm -hmm. I think that's exceptional, personally. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like that's, that's, like like that's not. Because no matter you might you might find people who aren't racist, but I feel like in everybody there's a little bit of prejudice. Because if you ask a lot of white people, if you ask them, what is one food that black people eat? Fried chicken is the first thing they're gonna say. That's prejudice because you're boxing everybody into one category. So I honestly feel like there's nobody in this world that doesn't have a small bit of prejudice in them. Now they might not act on that prejudice and discriminate. But there's nobody in this world that isn't prejudiced, because I'm prejudiced. Okay, when does prejudice become racism? When it's acting on that. Like, it's the action. There's a per like, the definition of racism in entails a person, a person or empowered mm -hmm. above another race. Yeah, they so that they're, yeah. you have to have, like, say for instance, you have a boss that does, that chooses not to hire black people. That's racism. Yeah. Now he, now prejudice is a white person seeing a group of black people and choosing to walk on the other side of the street. Yeah. That's prejudice. Okay. What if that boss is also black? It's still, it's still prejudice. Is he racist? Is he racist? It's still racist. Yeah. 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 Right. He's, He's still, still racist. racist. Yeah. He's still racist. Take away the color. It's the act. Yeah. It's yeah. the act, like he said. Yeah. When you act on it, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the color. Black, white, blue, green. He didn't choose the hot black people because mm -hmm. of whatever the stereotype and prejudice is. So that's racist, even if, it's, if you yeah. know, I'm going to throw that walking on the cross the street. Racist too. I'll do that too. I'm not gonna front. I mean, 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 I mean
towards black people in general. I mean, I am. But is that considered racist? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think the mass doesn't right. consider it racist. Well, I'm going to say you're like smart. Yeah, I'm going to say you're smart. <laughs>